Hi, I'm Stephanie Girard, the new assistant provost for the graduate school here at Shippensburg University. It's my honor and privilege to be here with Professor Tom Havantney from the psychology department. Professor, introduce yourself and tell us about yourself. Well, my name is uh, Professor Tom Havantney. Um, I am a social psychologist and I run the graduate um, program here in the psychology department at Shippensburg University. Uh, our program is an applied psychology program which focuses on how we can take the uh, knowledge and research methods that we know from psychology and applies them to sort of the real world. Um, when we think of uh, psychology, we tend to think of, you know, a couch and a therapist. Um, but the reality is there's a lot from uh, psychology that we can use in the regular everyday world, like the business world, um, school environments, um, and uh, marketing and nonprofits. So our program is sort of designed to help people use those skills and use that knowledge from uh, psychology and apply that directly. You mentioned that uh, you have a research focus. And I understand that you're doing some research about identification with sports teams, especially because the nation seems to be embroiled in whether or not the football team, the Washington Redskins, should change its name. Could you tell us about your work? Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Um, my work uh, mainly is on how we sort of incorporate different things into our, our self. Um, I call it the self-concept, but you could call it the identity or your identity. Um, and we incorporate all kinds of things into ourselves. As some, something as simple as our hands, is they're part of who we are as a person, but our uh, significant others, the uh, goals that we have in our lives, all of those are a part of who we are. One of those things that a lot of people are, have a part of who they are is a sports team. Um, and uh, I mainly sort of do research on how all these different things sort of become part of who we are. And uh, the um, controversy around the, the name of the Washington football team is uh, something that's uh, very fascinating to me and that I've sort of been exploring a little bit uh, myself right now. Tell us a little about how that, uh, how that happens, the process of how a person does get so identified with a team. So that, that whole process is something that we're still trying to figure out in detail. Um, uh, we've sort of uh, mainly been focusing on what the sort of consequences are of um, that, that connection or that uh, fusion, if you will, with your identity. Um, one of the things that we do know that sort of happens is that when, in general, when your team does very well, um, you uh, start to connect with it and start to say things like, we won. Um, and as a sports fan, you didn't win, your team won for you, but we start using that kind of language. And we call this burging or basking in reflective glory. Something that also happens at the same time is that when your team starts to do um, poorly, you start to disconnect and you start to you sort of separate from it. Um, uh, they lost, right, instead of we lost. Um, however, one of the things that we found, or some research has found, and I'm sort of expanding on that research, is that uh, our, the more connected we are to the team, the more likely we are actually to sort of engage in the we lost um, behavior. And uh, the we lost doesn't just need to be with their performance on the field, but can also include um, a lot of uh, behavior off the field or um, controversy surrounding the team. So identifying fans may still be connected to the name the Redskins instead of um, sort of being uh, accepting of any sort of change with the team. How does your research and the research of your colleagues, um, how is it connected to what the students are going to be learning in the online environment and getting a master's degree in applied psychology? So our research is connected in sort of two primary ways. Um, the first one is that anytime we do research, we're using skill sets that um, are gonna be necessary in those more applied settings, right? Understanding what's happening in those applied settings, we can use the same research techniques to sort of explore those um, events. Uh, and the other way is that all of this, this research that I do and the research of our colleagues, uh, my colleagues, um, we can all sort of incorporate that knowledge into um, the uh, different techniques that people use to address those more applied issues, right? Whether or not that's marketing for a sports team or um, uh, evaluating um, particular variables and what variables to evaluate in those applied settings. And as you said, people who get their master's degree in applied psychology can use it in a variety of different professional fields. Um, what do you see to be the future of the program here at Chippensburg? So I, I think the future is pretty bright. As you said, we just, just moved online recently, and um, uh, I think that provides a lot of opportunities for our students that they previously didn't have, not having to commute long distances to our campus, um, and uh, sort of uh, being able to work at their own pace. Um, that's an important uh, thing, especially for today's learners, to be able to choose their own learning environment. Um, and as an online program, uh, we can provide uh, all kinds of resources for students that we haven't been able to provide in the past. Well, I am so excited to see where you take this. I'm excited for your research as well. And I can't thank you enough for spending some time with me today. Thank you for having me.